Go. Okay. The first of the isometric transformations we're going to be looking at are translations. And I have in front of me three different examples of translations. Here they're showing a triangle with the translation line below it. In the second one, the translation line is above it. And on the third one, the translation line is to the side. When I'm doing these, I just arrange them. I would turn that one upside down so that I have the transition line below the drawing. And this one I would turn like that so the transition line is below the drawing. I'm just going to do a demonstration with this triangle. To do this, the easiest way to do it is to take your set square with the longest side, the hypotenuse, and you place it below the transition line, and it's got to be below your figure that you're translating. You then take your ruler and you place it on the short edge of the set square and you've got to hold that securely because you're going to be sliding your set square up to each vertex. When you get it to the first vertex, you draw a line. That line is now parallel to the transition line. You then, holding the ruler securely, slide the set square up to the next vertex of the triangle and carefully draw your second line coming out of the second vertex parallel to the transition line. The ruler never moves. Now, when I'm trying to get up to the third vertex, I'm kind of falling off my ruler, so at this point, I hold the set square securely, slide the ruler up a bit so I have more leeway to reach the third vertex, and then I'm finished with the ruler, and I can draw my third parallel line. We've got the three parallel lines coming out of, I'll label that vertex A, B, and C. To find A prime, the new location of A, we have to move it that exact length. So you take your compass, stick it in to one end of the translation line, open it up to the tip of the arrow, and then stick the point in point A, and there is your new location of A prime. B takes you to B prime, and C takes you to C prime. The original goes from A to B, B to C, and then back to A, so you join these points up exactly the same way, A to B, B to C, and C back there we've successfully translated triangle ABC to A prime B prime C prime.